Boom. Yo, welcome to the Dude Ranch Podcast. I have Dude Ranch Podcast. I have no idea what episode. What episode? Uh, fuck, 22. 22. 22 or 23. Uh, anyway, Big Grizzly, how much you bench, bro? I want to start off by saying fucking congratulations to the 17-time world champion Los Angeles Lakers. Anyone watching the show knows I'm the biggest Lakers fan in the whole wide world, whole worldwide, as Forrest Gump would say. Congratulations, Lakers. You fucking did it. I don't care what anyone says about a fucking asterisk. The bubble had to be a fucking hard thing to do. You you lost what you fought for all year with your home court advantage. That was irrelevant. So, anyway, what's this fucking guy? Go ahead and introduce yourself. T-Bag 69. They, we did it first, and we did them all in Boston. They did some of those in Minneapolis. So, we're still the greatest basketball franchise. Make sure you guys subscribe to T-Bag 69 on YouTube. Oh, and before we get to Brady, Danny Hammer is not here. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let people know. I'm fucking hosting. Let's go ahead, Brady. Yeah, uh, shout out to my team, 76ers. We got three and counting. <laughs> Might be and counting for the rest of my lifetime. Probably will be, but nah, I was just fucking trolling. No, um, shout out to nobody. Fuck you, unless you watch the Dude Ranch, and shout out to you. Everyone else can fuck off. Dick. So you're gonna, you're probably noticing someone's missing the Danny Hammer. He, <laughs> right fucking all. Left, he left for fucking right all. He left for fucking Okinawa on Saturday. He was supposed to be on the show, but he's saying something about his Wi Fi. I know what he's doing. He's on the fucking, he's, he went and took the Karate Kid Part 2 fucking tour out there. Was, I know you saw what he's fucking talking about. <laughs> so anyway, before, before we get into the show, I got a big fucking announcement to make. Next week's show, we're going to have world-renowned scientist, Dr. Chad Eisenhuth from the Moxham Institute of Medicine on, and he's going to talk about coronavirus. He may have a fucking, he that's, may have a vaccine. That's what he's saying. For it. So tune in next week. That's what Dr. he's saying. Dr. Chad Moxham, Moxham Institute of Medicine. It's world renowned. It's like the New England Institute of Medicine, John Hopkins, Moxham Institute of Medicine. For sure. I, I'm excited. I'm excited to pick his brain about the entire subject of oh, coronavirus yeah. Yeah. in general. Yeah. And some other shit he's probably got going. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> probably carrying fucking AIDS or something. I don't know. Probably. We're going fi- yeah. to find out. So make sure you guys. If you guys are watching this right now, share it around. So, because I mean, share this is around. fucking huge. Doctor Chad Dr. Chad Eisenhuth. He's talked with Trump multiple times about a possible vaccination. Moxon Institute. Yeah, he's a big. Yeah, he's a big. Trump. He's a, yeah, he's a big yeah. fan of the Moxon Ninja. He, he was gonna have him on tonight, but I'm, I'm sure he's up at the big fucking rally up there for Trump. Trump's up there. Yeah. 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 Let's let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we'll get into it. So, we got, I got a bunch of shit I want to talk about tonight. Um, should I lead off with the fucking Lakers? No, we're gonna walk. We're gonna talk about this because I don't, I don't care fucking who gets, who thinks I'm gay. I like watching the fucking Bachelor and the Bachelorette. I like the fucking dynamic of it. So, my question for the boys here, and you can drop it in the comments, is watching the Bachelor or the Bachelorette gay? And this is a two-part question. Can Drew call me gay? I have two kids. He gets no pussy. His pocket pussy don't fucking count. Can he call me gay? Bachelor, bachelorette, gay, and can he call me gay? Brady, we'll let you go ahead. I mean, I don't really think it matters. I don't. I, if you watch it, you watch it. You watch whatever the fuck you like. I, I mean, I, I think it's dumbass fucking soap opera TV. The divorce rate slash marry rate of any of them fuckers is like ninety five percent. So I don't know. I think it, whatever. I mean, if you watch it, you watch it. Wasn't that wasn't uh, Aaron Rodgers' brother on there, right? Like a while back. Yeah, yeah Jordan Rodgers. I like the and dynamic. But, the drama of it is what I like. I don't like the parts when they're falling in love and fuck that. Bullshit. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he. I love it. I'm, that, that's all he talks I like about. I fucking drama. No. And your boy, your Chivago, I think bets on it. Does it, did he bet on that? Does he bet on the fucking? Did he bet on American Idol? American, I don't want back. Okay, but Brady, but can he call me gay? No. Yeah. You didn't answer that question. Yeah, why can't, why can't I call you gay? Just because you're banging your pocket pussy doesn't mean you're not gay. Why? I have two kids. I get pussy. Yeah, so, so do I. Yeah, the pocket, the latex pocket pussy don't count. Hey, it, Joe, I know what you're going to say, but go ahead. Answer. It's bad, it, bad, 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 bad. Yeah, it, it, I think so. I think I think you should start watching, I think you should start watching better content, like more YouTube videos. <laughs> 
such as the Milk Boys or Milk. The Milk Boys, yeah, oh. that's way less gay than watching. Is the that Milk the one with the Steve will do? It? Yeah, he's funny. I do like that. Yeah, the Side Men, they're great to watch. Good blokes. <laughs> They're good blokes. And I definitely can call you gay. I can call you whatever I want. Why are you eating? What are you eating? Sorry. That, that's not good for TV. He's eating fucking Sour Patch kids. They're good. Sorry. Just cramming them in your fucking gullet as you're talking. Like, you're like <laughs> Danny, son. That's not, I know. We, we fucking yelled at him for that at <laughs> one time. He's on his fucking Karate Kid 2 fucking <laughs> tour. All right. Um... I'm going to move on to the next topic. I guess everyone here thinks Brady said it's whatever you like to watch, you know? Why is there in the comments? You're watching. You're watching. It's not like I'm watching Queer as Fuck. Or what's it called? Huh? Whoa, whoa. How the fuck did he know that, that show? Was a, that was the fucking line from uh, The Office, remember? No. When Oscar came out gay and, and uh, Jan came down to the, and Michael was like, I watched Queer Eye for the Straight Guy and Queer as Fuck. Mm. She was like, that's not what it's called. It's called Queer as Fuck or whatever. I don't know. You don't come on. You watch the off song. Never mind. I'm gonna move on to the next topic because is, is Big Grizzly sus? I think Big Grizzly's a little <laughs> sus out here. I didn't even know about this until Brady turned me on to this. But how about Bill Burr's fucking monologue on Saturday Night Live? Like, <laughs> what the fuck was Saturday Night Live thinking having him as the host? Like, what were they expecting? Like, did they never watch his stand up before? What did they think, Brady? Uh, well, I thought it was one of the funniest fucking monologues that SNL's had in a long time. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, for, I watched him um, talk about it. Uh, I forget who it was on. It's someone's show. But he was like, pretty much SNL didn't tell him, like, you can't say this, you can't say that. They just said, just know that you're probably going to get canceled, which is why he threw in that canceled bit where he made oh, that whole bit was and all yeah. that shit. but that's what i mean bill burr was like i don't give a fuck if I, someone says i'm canceled he said I, it doesn't matter to me it's fucking stupid so i don't know I, I mean i guess snl was just they needed that personally i think they need more shit like that because they're fucking they their ratings have to be down they're yeah not, i haven't, well, I haven't, I haven't they watched they that. don't have any they don't have any big names right now that's their problem i think pete davidson's okay but um other than that, what's her what's her fucking name? Kate McKinnon or whatever. I don't. She doesn't. She ain't that funny. Yeah, Neither yeah, that. Yeah. Keenan Allen. What the fuck's his name? Keenan Thompson. Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen. What's your thoughts on it? it was I thought it was fucking, fucking hilarious. hilarious. I think personally, I think the whole fucking cancel culture shit is fucking stupid. Like who fucking? I mean, yeah. If he said, I mean. I don't know. I just think the whole cancel culture shit. People are just so nowadays are so offended by everything. Oh, it's it's, it's just down. ridiculous. I mean, we on the podcast, we don't offend no one. We're we're good blokes here on the Dude Ranch podcast. No, I'm sure so we, we don't offend a lot of people. <laughs> Here's my question though: NBC could not have read that monologue, right? Nah, NBC, I, no, way. Nah. I couldn't imagine that they read that and be like. Yeah, we're all right with that. Yeah, there's no way. Not NBC, like Comedy Central or something. Yeah, because they can get away with more on cable than you can. Yeah. On a major fucking network like that. Like, I mean, Saturday Night Live's pushed the limits. Like, they've pushed the limits as far as they can go on NBC. NBC, yeah. but to bring Bill Burr in as raw as he fucking is, yeah. it was fucking hilarious. I, I thought a whole it was... bit about the fucking tele, uh, Pride Month. Oh, and then yeah. he, he fucking segued that into the fucking black uh, the black, 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 history black history month. Black history month. He's, He's like, like, they get February. <laughs> they get February. It's only 28 days. It's cold as fuck, and everyone's shivering. <laughs> Nobody wants to go to a parade because they're cold. Oh, uh, yeah. This shit about women was funny as fuck, too. Oh, uh, the Me Too. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah. I, I thought the whole thing was fucking funny in general. It was definitely funny. It was definitely But great. I want to say the reason why, like, Brady was saying that they're not. That that whole show, like I've been watching it for a long time, and it it goes in. What happens is it goes in fucking cycles, you know. Like they'll be funny for like eight years, but them guys will get so good and so popular, then they they move on from that. Yeah. They start doing movies and others. They get into other shit. Like you know, some of the guys, Will Ferrell and them guys, yeah. like they start getting in other shit, and then the talent level drops until they get. But they have been in a cycle now where they haven't really had a lot of. I I think I think talent. that cycle that they had with. Fuck. Well, who? I mean, at, there was a point where they had Sandler, Chris Rock, fucking Will Ferrell, 
Barley. Spade, Sandler, like Barley. They had, I mean, I don't think they'll ever be able to top that. I mean, that's some of the funniest comedy we've ever got was from that group well, of people. Let me ask you this question, though. Do you think streaming and the yeah, internet and stuff it. like that has it hurts them? Does that hurt yeah, Saturday Live? You don't have to go to Saturday Night Live to get known anymore. Yeah. You could do it on fucking YouTube or whatever. Yeah, Plus, sure. I feel like stand-up comedy is getting a lot bigger, too, because it's all over YouTube and Facebook and stuff. Back in the day, like that, was, you had to go to a comedy show to see it. Like It's not like you could watch it on Netflix or you could watch it. Well, on yeah, it. HBO would have specials, but you had, oh, to be, yeah. Like, yeah, like you had to be one of the top fucking guys to yeah. get a special on HBO. And like what well, they had Def Comedy Jam where they would do younger. I mean, fuck, Netflix has fucking specials that people I don't know who the fuck they yeah, are. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like streaming uh, services like Netflix and that. Netflix will put on fucking comedians you never fucking heard of yeah. because they have a fucking platform they could put. They could, you could do a stand up show and they might give you a fucking special. Fuck, yeah. There ain't a goddamn thing funny about you. I'm fucking hilarious. <laughs> I got great witty banter. <laughs> Is there anything else we want to talk about on that? or No. Nah. So we want to move along. Right along. Let's move along. I want to get into um this whole NBA playoffs rating thing is getting it's getting a lot of fucking neg the NBA is getting a lot of negative fucking uh feed, especially from your commander and fucking chief. Like I don't think it's fair to compare to NBA TV ratings this playoff season because they're not used to playing right now. Yeah. You're going up against major league baseball college football and the ratings fucking monster of all time, the NFL. I just think yeah. that's what's hurting the ratings. I think maybe a little bit is there. And I, and I think this is a very small part is their push for social justice and this whole nah. thing. But I only, it's small, like a small fraction. I just, I just, yeah, I disagree. Huh? I don't think that has anything to do with the whole I think small part. I don't think so. It had to turn off a few people. I don't. Not I think time. I think I think Drew underestimates the uh, the market of middle aged racist white dudes who actually enjoy basketball. I think you underestimate that market. I don't know why they like basketball so much, but I know one person that we're, we're related to. Right? <laughs> that, I mean, I, I guarantee you, there's about. thousands more like that, and I mean yeah. that they, they're probably doing this, but I don't think they're not watching. I think they're doing the same thing that. Some fucking Trump pansies do for the NFL. They 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 wait 15 minutes before they put on the game. I don't know. I think people, like, yeah. I have the ability to like like I, I don't want I don't really want political shit in sports. Like sports, I think is is something we turn away to get away from that bullshit. But I'm okay with them doing it because I know it's their platform. But I have the ability to just tune it the fuck out. But a lot of people don't. Like it fucking eats at them. Like I know the person you're talking about. It fucking probably eats. At them. Oh, Seeing yeah. that Black Lives Matter across the fucking court uh-huh. or something probably eats at them. Yeah, yeah just, but, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. But I just the finals, first, the finals is in June every year, so they literally only right, had the, the NHL up, playoffs to go up to. They're going now up against they, regular season baseball, like nobody cares about. Well, and the NHL playoffs, which they blow out of the water too, so it doesn't matter. But and another thing, because I was talking, I said something to Chad about this on on Facebook earlier. I think. A, a, a part of it too is it's not the bubble wasn't aesthetically pleasing yeah. to look at. You know what I mean? Like you you see playoff defense, uh, you want to hear defense, you want to hear them fucking yeah. chants going on, you want to hear the crowd noise. But I think that had part to do with it. Could it wasn't be. aesthetically pleasing to look at. Yeah, I think I think tuning into a game seeing fucking however many thousand people pack into a fucking crowd That's going right. nuts. Yeah. Yeah, it's way better to look at anyhow. Yeah. As far as, you know, because it's important. It's the same thing with football, too. Like, football yeah. it looks weird. Like, watching a Steeler game without all them terrible Yeah, it's fuck, Yeah, it's definitely weird. And, I mean, it also hurt people. I think I think if there's fans there, I think there's no way, there's no reason why the Celtics don't win the whole finals if there's fans there. Well, okay. Well, since you're on that topic, because a lot of people are saying there should be a asterisk next to the Lakers fucking title. Do you agree with that? I don't think so. I think it hurt teams like the Lakers. And the Clippers, the team, the top teams, uh, the Celtics. I think it hurt them because they lost what they would have had yeah. home court advantage. I think it helped teams like the Heat. Mm-hmm. Because do you do you honestly think the Heat get to the finals? Had they had to go through fucking Milwaukee, go up to Milwaukee, had they had to go to Boston? You're talking about that traveling. You're talking about young guys and the pressure cooker of fucking playing in the Garden against the fucking Celtics. Oh no, the Tyler here does not ball out in the TD Garden. 
with all them fans going nuts. That douchebag does not ball the fuck out like he did in that one game. I don't think he does it in Milwaukee. Either. No, well, no, probably not. Yeah, I don't think they get past Milwaukee. I don't think they get past Milwaukee. Brady, what do you think about that? I think whoever made that asterisk thing up is probably definitely from Massachusetts. Skip Bayless. That just, that just <laughs> seems like someone from Boston would make something like that up. Skip no, I, think, I think it's stupid. That I think stupid. I think at the end of the day, the survival of the fittest would have would have kicked in anyway. Lakers were the best team in the NBA. I mean, they have the best player, and he finally has someone who's probably a top ten boy well, as a top ten player. But yeah, I don't. I mean, it might have hurt Miami. If anything, it helped Miami. But I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't a phase of the Lakers. I think it would have hurt the Nuggets a lot too, actually. Yeah, because that's Denver's a tough place to play too. Yeah. I mean, really, the only surprise was well, the Clippers getting knocked off. Was yeah. Obviously, that was a surprise. No, everyone expected them and the Lakers to be in the conference finals. Um, Milwaukee getting, but I thought they were sus anyhow. Yeah. I thought Milwaukee was a suspect team anyway. But and then again, I don't think they get knocked off. I I, I honestly yeah. I don't think it would have been fucking bought Boston and Milwaukee for the East Finals. Yeah, I think so. But I think those were the only two real finals. We know how that would have ended. Yeah, Celtics and Six. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. <laughs> Your daddy. He's not our daddy. How the fuck is he our daddy? All right. We split with them in the regular season, and the past two years we met them in the playoffs. We went one and one. We beat them the first year, and the second year they beat us. Well, since we're talking about basketball, where am I? All right. Since we're talking about basketball and the Lakers winning the championship, um, what's the over under on the Lakers passing Boston for the most titles in oh, history? A lot of years. And I got it set at next year. <laughs> Is it over? Next year, Brady, or next year? You guys aren't going. Are you, the Lakers are repeating next year. No. Lakers aren't going. I'm not asking you. I'm asking Brady. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it depends on a couple free agency moves. But if Giannis goes to Miami, I think they're the favorites. But I don't know. It's I, I mean, you're definitely going to get one before Boston gets another one. I can guarantee you that. Until they fire Brad Stevens, the most uh, – Underachieving fucker of all time, under 500 in the playoffs now, but he is the best coach in the NBA according to Drew Gates. <laughs> well, I mean, his under first three years, playoff right I mean, I mean, his first three years in the playoffs, his best player was Avery Bradley. So, I mean, you got to answer, Brady. Next year or is it over? Over. Over. So you don't think the Lakers? Are gonna... No, you guys don't go back to back. Look at, look at, look at. I mean, you, I think personally, a lot of teams are sleeping on Golden State. Golden State's gonna be fucking good next year. Mm. They're gonna be. They're gonna be good. They're gonna have Steph, Clay, and Dre all back. They're gonna have Wiggins, who's a solid player, and not to mention they have the number two pick if they want to use it or trade it for a fucking talent. They're gonna be good as fuck next year. Oh, they're, Clippers, gonna, be, they're gonna be good again for Steph. Oh, yeah, yeah. Clippers are still gonna be good next year. Denver, I think Denver takes the next step. I think Jamal Murray, the way he plays, gonna his game is gonna continue to rise. Jokic is obviously Jokic. Okay, well hold on. I'll, I'll, let me say, Clippers are gonna lose two guys off that team. For sure, like two important guys. Their payroll is already at 117 million dollars. They're not going to pay over 100 million dollars extra in fucking luxury tax. Two of them guys are gone. Probably Montrezl Harrell, definitely one of them. Maybe Lou Williams. Clippers are starting to be good. They're, they're gone. Eh, I don't know. guys chemistry. They don't have they don't have a leader on that fucking team. Either. Still going to be good. Um, Gold State. I don't. Brady. I, I think Brady agrees with me on this. I don't think Wiggins, first of all, fits in with that team. That will. He's maybe maybe he's part of a trade then, but still. He don't fit in, and they also have they also have cap issues too. Like right now, the, the Golden State Warriors, Brady. Do you think they're better than the Lakers? Right now is what they got with the, what they got. Uh, no, because you have LeBron James and Anthony Davis, right? But I mean, as if you if you don't count if if you just put aside Clay, or Steph and LeBron and you compare the rest of the roster, yeah, they probably have a better roster than you. But you have Warriors are good. The Warriors are going to be set. So, would you rather have AD and LeBron or Steph and Clay? Is it, who AD would you and LeBron. Have? AD right. and LeBron. Wait, wait, or what are we talking? Are we talking just, no, for, not, like just, not. just for one year? Just for one year? Yeah. Okay, well, just for one year, I'm taking, I mean, LeBron, obviously. Okay, yeah, and that's what we're talking about next year. But it, I mean, it's 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 a, it's a supporting cast too. It's not just LeBron. Who's AD. on their supporting cast? 
Draymond, they lost a lot of fucking guys. From Draymond Green. They sacrificed a lot when they got Kevin Durant. They had to let a lot of guys go. Yeah, but they're going to be able to get people back in. Someone's going to give up a decent amount for that number two overall pick. Yeah. So you think they're trading it? Oh, yeah, I think they're trading it. I, I think they're going to. I, I think they're getting, they get another All Star. Yeah, I think mean, yeah, hundred percent. I would trade if I was them. You think you think Washington would take that for Bradley Bill? I don't think they make that. Because Bradley Bill would fit in good with that team. Yeah. Well, obviously, he's a shooter. He would fit in real good with that team. I think they need to get a good ass big. Let yeah. Jamal play the four. Right, but a, get yeah, like, get but like a, a big, cat, like a cat. Yeah, but they need a big that fits with their. Like, like Kevin cat. Durant did. Like know? a cat. Yeah, or like someone like Anthony Davis or something like that. Yeah. Obviously, I, he's not going to get it. Unless he walks. <laughs> he ain't walking. There's no chance he walks. No, no. He would, that would be the biggest fucking douchebag move ever. Brady, this is just for you because I know what Dad's going to say. Remember how earlier, a couple like last week, Anthony Davis was the second best player in the NBA? If Anthony Davis leaves LA, would he ever say that Anthony Davis is the second best player in the NBA? No. No. He, he he's, he's top ten, maybe. He's there be too many emotions involved for me to say he'd be second best player. You're because you're so you're a homer. If you if you couldn't here's say this, here's my thing. Like you argued with me that because you said Kevin Durant. Like I, you can't even factor Kevin Durant. You don't know what he's coming back like. Anymore. I'm just assuming he's a thirty what thirty three year old. No, he's, he's like 30, he's thirty one. No, he's yeah. older than thirty one. He's thirty one. Get your little fucking Google out there and look. He's older than thirty one. I'm pretty sure you told me the other day he was older than 31, yeah. <laughs> 32. 32. Okay, so 32, he'll be. Oh, he just turned 32. Okay, so 32 years old, coming off a fucking Achilles tear. We'll see. He's still going to be good. We'll, he's not going to be that good. He's not going to be the Kevin Durant of old. No one comes back from that injury the same fucking player. We hope so. We all hope so. You better not hope so. No, we all hope he's not the same. Oh, yeah, all, okay. all three of us. All right. three of us. He comes back fully healthy. They might be better than you guys. Yeah, Karis LeVert, too. Karis LeVert, Spencer Dinwiddie. I know, but the, the, the one X factor is Kyrie Irving. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Can he change? He's a fucking cancer. Oh, yeah, obviously. But if he does, they're winning the championship. Based on talent-wise... Because when Kevin Durant was healthy, everyone was arguing who's better in the league, him or him or LeBron. And there was a sol- and there was a solid talent, like talent wise, him and LeBron were pretty close. I think it was a dumb argument. Well, because you're saying that because he's like her. Mm, I yeah, say, I didn't say that when LeBron was still mm. in the Cavaliers. I think it's a dumb argument. No, Kevin Durant. LeBron's gonna go down when he retires as one of the top three or four players ever. Kevin Durant's fucking. Basketball. Kevin, Kevin Durant's not going. Kevin Durant will go down top ten, I think. Mm, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I think so. I think so. He's going to have to win a few more championships before you can even fucking like a, He's going to have to win a championship by himself then. Yeah, he joined the 73. Wait, wait, wait. When did, when did LeBron ever win by himself? Cleveland? Kyrie Irving? Again. Mm. <laughs> Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving was the one of the two best point guards in the NBA. So. Well, don't, for, don't forget that he piggybacked fucking – Anderson Varejao, Zadrunas, Zagalskis, and fucking go ahead and name me a couple more guys from that team when they lost to the Spurs, which will go down as a, probably a top five team. Yeah, stepdad was on that team. His stepdad was on that team. Devontae. Hey, uh, now we're gonna move on to that. Uh, one more basketball thing, and I should have just tied this in with that. How many rings do you think LeBron can win in his career? How many more? Mm-hmm. I personally think he can get two more. Yeah, I was gonna Ty say Jordan. I was I gonna think. say tops. <laughs> These fuckers, man, they lag out all the fucking. <laughs> Drew out there giving up a fucking address. How many five? How many of those addresses are there in the world? There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot, yeah. Are uh, you recording again? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're still recording, yeah. All right, well, I guess we're moving right along. Brady, you think he's going to win how many more, two? LeBron? Two at least? One? Mm, I say one. I don't think he ties Jordan. I think he gets one. I think he ends with five. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on to some football, I guess. Um, I have a question because we've been talking about this guy for a lot. We've been talking about him a lot lately. Herbert the fucking pervert. Throw like, seeds. Huh? He throw throws seeds. fucking seeds. That's what I would say. <laughs> Here's my question. Do you think the Dolphins and or the Bengals will end up regretting taking Tua and Burrow respectively over Herbert? No. I don't think he's that much better. If at all. I mean, we haven't seen Tua yet. I personally still stick to my guns that Tua is going to be the best out of this draft class. And Burrow is fucking the first rookie quarterback to throw for what? What was it? Over 250 in every single game so far? In three straight games or some some shit like that. I don't think he Herbert's that. Game. Huh? He didn't last yeah, but his first three weeks he did. But I'm just saying, I don't think Herbert's that much better. Herbert's one and four. Brady? Uh, Tua, 1,000%. Uh, Joe Burrow. Mm, I, it's hard with Joe Burrow. I think Joe Burrow looks like he could be really good, but do the Bengals ever put an offensive line around him? Because if they don't, it don't matter who the fuck you would stick back there because that offensive line is fucking terrible. So you think – so two or 1,000%, you think Miami will regret taking him over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I agree. Like, um, I, I wasn't a fan of Tua when he was at Alabama. Like, I I know. Starfucker here. I, I don't. I just didn't like his ball that he threw. I didn't think it, it translated into he, the NFL. He has two two major things going against him too. One, Alabama quarterbacks don't do good in the NFL for some reason. <laughs> and two, he's a lefty, which other than Steve Young, not and his really arm good. strength. I don't think his arm strength's that good either. And yeah, he, lit up, he lit up your oh, dog. Vic, he sorry, up. I forgot about Vic. But Vic did a lot of that because of his legs, though. But right. He, he lit both. up your dogs. Alabama did. Like, no. That was a great fucking football. No, because that year one, too, it got that start in the so pocket. And, and, no, two it came in. Two came in the playoff down on 13. I know what my eyeballs see. And I knew Herbert yeah, when I watched him. But you're you, I've never watched Herbert play at Oregon. That's my thing. But your eyeballs also thought Jake Fromm was going to be a superstar. Jake Fromm's on a practice squad right now. Uh, I said I said Jake Fromm was a leader. Like I like his leadership. Yeah, but mm. some, like sometimes you just you, sometimes guys just don't. Josh Rosen. I thought Josh Rosen was gonna be really good in the NFL. I mean, it's just some of the game Same. doesn't translate to everyone. Exactly. You guys, yeah, you guys are wrong on some people. You guys are gonna be wrong on Tua. No, I'm wrong about people being good. Like I'm thinking people are gonna be better than they are. I'm I'm yeah. usually never wrong on someone not being good and he ends up being really good. And I just right, because like, I didn't back think back Burrow back. was going to be, but Burrow was looking like he could be pretty, pretty good. I, I was, I was wrong. We'll see. Two is going to be good. I like, I like Burrow. I thought Joey Burrow was nice, but baby hands. Yeah, I think the Dolphins will definitely regret taking two over. 100%. And unless we didn't even mention his fucking history, from you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when we drafted Ben Roethlisberger. There was three, three big time quarterbacks in there, but I don't, Herbert's different though. Like I think he he wasn't even as highly sought after. Maybe as Roethlisberger was, but the Steelers kind of just sat back and let them two other teams take who they wanted, and they just took who was left, and they ended up getting the guy they wanted anyhow. The better the three. Yeah. Thank God that fucking worked out because there was a documentary on that that said that San Diego was really close to taking Ben instead of fucking Eli. <laughs> Thank God. Same with the Giants. Well, the Giants took Phillip, but they were going to take Ben, and even in that thing, Ben's agent was like, "Yeah, we're going." We're going to uh, New York here, and then they ended up shocking him and not taking him, which works out great because I think he's better than both of them, so it doesn't matter. No, ben, yeah. Ben's definitely better than both of them. Yeah, well, we got lucky that Thing made that. Thing drafted a, drafted Rivers, or wait, no, they drafted Eli. San Diego drafted Eli, and they knew that New York wanted him. Yeah. So then, yeah, well, that worked out good for us because I think San Diego liked Roethlisberger too. Yeah. But New York wanted Eli all along. Like, they yeah. wanted Eli all along. Because it's New York. They wanted a big name like Manning in there. Like, a lot of people didn't know about Roethlisberger coming out. Right. Like, like, he's Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Fuck, he played tight end most of his career there, too. Yeah, behind the coach's son. Mm-hmm. No, that was in high school. Yeah. Huh? High school, high school. High school. Yeah, yeah, it was high school. He didn't start high school until his senior year because the coach's son was a year ahead of him. And his coach's son <laughs> wonder where he went to fucking school. Penn Highlands. Well, Ben Roethlisberger could have been recruited by Ohio State. Ohio State wanted him as a tight end, though. 
Really? Yeah, one of them was a tight end. See, Damn, then, how good was he at tight end? Must have been pretty good. Yeah, I understand. That's what I'm saying. Fuck. Well, he's, look at he's him. a really good basketball player. Well, yeah, I mean, so, look. I mean he's athletic. Ben, well, he was athletic. <laughs> Age and a lot of injuries creeping up. Oh, bang him in. So, me and Brady think that two of the Dolphins will regret that. Drew don't. I'm high on Tua. Star fucker. Tua, <laughs> take it by all. They probably already regret it. <laughs> Without even seeing Tua play, they probably already regret it. Tua, Tiger Viola. Well, since we were talking about Herbert the pervert, I'll segue this into Is Tyrod Taylor the unluckiest some bitch in the history of the NFL? Mm, probably. Yes. <laughs> Let, he played when he was in Cleveland. The guy left Baltimore and went to fucking Buffalo. They got rid of him because they ended up drafting Josh Allen. Yeah, but that was the year he took him to the playoffs. And then after that, like yeah. for some reason, they drafted Allen. Like he took him to the playoffs and then drafted Allen. Then and he then- goes to Cleveland. Played good, and then he gets hurt. Yeah, he's playing good, and then he gets hurt. And Baker Mayfield comes in, I guess, for that one game and lights it up. And then they, he's out. Baker Mayfield <laughs> starting, and then he goes to fucking San. I, I always want to say San Diego, L.A. Go Chargers! They draft, Go! They draft fucking Herbert the pervert. Not only does he fucking get injured, then he gets a fucking needle to his lung, loses his fucking job. He's an unlucky son of a bitch, man. He's good too. I can tell he's not talented. He. On the game, on since you're talking about the Chargers, um, side note to that, is Drew Brees' arm officially dead? Yes. Because did, he did not. It, man, yeah. he looked bad. Yeah. That, I, I don't seen, think Brees ever had a big arm any No, no, he not a big, a big arm. arm. But he, he's looking like Peyton in Peyton's last year where he couldn't even throw the ball yeah. 15 yards. Like, cause Brees is the best that, quality. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. That guy was making fun of him last night because he threw that, like, 28 yard pass to fucking Jerry Cook, and he said, "He said, did you guys watch Drew Brees turn that pass? He had to fucking run and javelin himself." In. <laughs> I told you, he throws his fucking five yard slants. I think his biggest his biggest attribute was uh, accuracy. Yeah, yeah. he does throw. But seeds. even now, his arm strength's even less than it was. But yeah, I agree with Brady. He does throw seeds though. Like I, I, oh, I, I can throw seeds for five hundred yards. I've taken New Orleans off my Super Bowl contender list as well. I think. Oh, I did that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I don't know yet because I want to see what they look like with Michael Thomas. I'm, I'm on the fence. I'm fucking about to jump off. I want to see what Michael Thomas can do. Their defense is bad, dude. Their, their defense. Their defense is bad. So is Seattle. So, are, so are you saying Seattle's out then too? Well, Seattle. But has they, a better, yeah, a but they have offense. an MVP type candidate fucking quarterback. Drew and DK thing. Metcalf, who's fucking good, and Lockett, who's yeah, also yeah, good. but and Chris yeah, well, yeah, also like good. he's saying, he has weapons. So does Drew Brees. Drew Brees has weapons. Kamara yeah, is a weapon. Michael Thomas is a weapon. Emmanuel yeah, yeah, Sanders. Quarterback and Russell Wilson. Here, well, here's not, the thing: Michael Thomas will help them a little bit, but just like just like you watch what San Diego did last night, everyone in the league is going to start doing that to them. They're going to fucking just say, "If you want to throw over the top, go ahead," but you're not going to beat us on that dink and dunk shit all season. And that's what San Diego did. They crowded the box a lot last night. And look how many times, especially if you get heat on Drew Brees, which there's a lot of good pass rushing teams out there. The Chargers were, are one of them, I think, with Bosa. Had they had Ingram, they'd be a lot better. But still, I mean, when you get – when Drew Brees was under pressure last night, some of them throws he was throwing were fucking horrible. The one was like 13 yards short in the dirt. He didn't even get hit. Right. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm on, I'm on the fence with New Orleans. I don't put even 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 with Michael Thomas, I don't put them at like the top of my Super Bowl contenders list. But with Michael Thomas, I think they could be third or fourth best team out in the NFC. Third Which or is, fourth. That's not a Super Bowl team to me. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, not, third? If you're the third or fourth best team, you're not really a Super Bowl contender. Yeah, what? Unless unless like if you look in the AFC right now, I think that the one through four is all fucking close. Like Pittsburgh, Kansas City. Uh, Baltimore and Buffalo, they're all fucking any, I mean, I think any of them teams could beat any of them on any day. Like, I don't yeah. think there's much separation in between the four of them teams. Well, it's funny you bring that up, because remember everyone, you know, the NF, the AFC's been dominating for a lot of years now. Yeah. And people were starting to say, because the emergence of the 49ers, which looks like they're falling downhill. Right, it's because of injuries. New Orleans falling downhill. But I, I, I don't think... It may have looked like that a year ago, but I think the AFC is back up on top. I think they're the way better fucking Oh, the AFC is a way better conference. Yeah. They yeah. got the best team in football, the Chiefs. Baltimore. Baltimore's, Baltimore's up there. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh now with Ben Roethlisberger back in that defense. And Buffalo's playing. Buffalo. 
And let's not leave out Tennessee. Tennessee yeah, is a good Tennessee fucking team, too. The COVID they don't team. have a quarterback, but they have, they have other than that. They're a real yeah. good fucking solid team. The COVID yeah, but team. Yeah. The COVID team. Mm-hmm. And then, and and I that, think LV's pretty fucking good. Yeah, they're not on that they're not, le- they're not on that level yeah, yet. They're not that yeah, they're not there yet. They're, good. they're young though. They're if young. You at, if you look at the I mean, I know I know you're saying a sexy pick for Steeler fans, but even Cleveland, I mean they're if they piece it together, I mean, fuck, they look like they're pretty good. They're four and one. And we'll see what they look like this week, but I mean you gotta get they're four and one. I put them right around where the Bears are at. The Bears are four and one. I'd say Cleveland and the Bears are about on the same same level of team. Yeah, and the and the Bears have the second best record in the fucking NFC. Sorry. How is that, man? Third, I, I, I still think that's gonna implode. Yeah, Seattle and Green Bay are both undefeated. Yeah, I forgot. Cleveland's got to prove it. Cleveland's got to prove it. No, I know. I know they got to prove it. I'm just saying. Four of a one ain't proving shit to me with that. I mean, they no, ain't it's not. And it's three and bad. and two of their are are they four and one? Yeah. yeah. Who's their fourth win? They just Bengals. Uh, Bengals. Bengals. Football team. Colts. Cowboys. Cowboys. So they beat one good team. They beat one good team. And that was at home. Yeah. I don't like the Colts' offense. And their defense didn't show up at all. No, yeah, I don't know why. Which I even picked Dick. Well, their defense, only <laughs> their defense only gave up 50 yards in the second half. Pretty damn Yeah, they did play better in the second half. They got loose. And yeah. they didn't they have a touchdown, too. And fuck, yeah. that's all Rivers kept throwing the fuck. Yeah, Rivers yeah, stinks. Rivers, Rivers stinks. Yeah, he stinks. Yeah. He needs to fucking retire and go enjoy his 15 fucking kids or whatever he's got. The weakest, the weakest pullout game in all the fucking sports. Um, all right, let me move on to this because I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about Dak Prescott's his getting injured. Uh, but, I mean, it was a gruesome fucking injury. Everyone knows that. Everyone fucking seen it. They seen the picture of his fucking ankle. I'm going to talk about the NFL franchise tag. I think the NFL franchise tag is fucking horseshit. And I think any fucking player who accepts that, I think every player should do what Le'Veon Bell did. Just sit the fuck out. But I'm pro player. Like, I'm for the fucking player. Because here's what I think. If you get fucking hurt on that franchise, that team's going to forget your goddamn fucking name. They're going to delete your fucking name. Oh, yeah, that's number. not going to be in Dallas. Yeah. That's going to be gone. If Dak was in line for a big fucking payday, they didn't want to pay him. They did what, what Washington did, the football team did with fucking Kirk Cousins, yeah. and they kept franchise tag. I mean, Kirk's lucky he didn't get fucking injured, but Dak got fucking injured. Now he's fucked. Oh, yeah. And, and he's going to get a job, but no one's going to pay him anywhere near yeah. what he was in line to fucking get. Like, the play, I think the player's got to fucking look out for himself. You know, fuck this loyalty to fucking teams. I hate hearing that fucking shit. I hate hearing you got to stay with the same team that drafted. You know, I, you know what I always tell the people like that? Who the fuck tells you you've got to work at the same place? You, yeah. You're free to go work where whoever the fuck you want to work mm-hmm. for. I hate that shit. It's a boomer way of fucking thinking. It's just a bullshit. And the franchise tag, this should be fucking eliminated. Like, they shouldn't even be able to fucking do that. You just raise the fucking salary. Cap you know what that should do? Just take the next year off, rehab, wait a year, Ben will retire, come to Pittsburgh. But it doesn't matter. No, no one's going to pay him what he was in line no, to get. Absolutely so he, not. he lost it. Millions of fucking dollars. Oh yeah, for sure. What did he get this year on the franchise tag for a quarterback? Probably, had to be probably like high thirties. Not high thirties. Yeah, definitely probably like high thirties. Yeah, it was thirty-two. No, it was like thirty-two. Right. right. So, so he'll get that. But I, but I don't. Is that yeah? Guaranteed? But is that all guaranteed? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all, is guaranteed. It all guaranteed. Yeah, it's all guaranteed. So well, he'll get okay. that. But all the money he would have lost in the long-term five-year deal, he's not going to get that back. Yeah. I don't know if it's true or not. Um but I was reading that a lot of these players, like quarterbacks, kickers, punters, people that like have like a specific part of their body that they need a lot, they take out something called like I think it was like the Gambino fucking insurance or something, and it's like Lloyd's of London. <laughs> Lloyd's of London. That's what it was. Lloyd's yeah, 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 yeah. McAfee was talking about it today or, or yesterday and said that he's pretty sure that Dak took out a Lloyd's of London on his right arm and both of his legs. So if that's true, you'd get like two hundred million from that. I don't know. Well, I don't know. They don't. They ain't gonna insure you that much. They, he'll he'll get some money out of that. They don't insure you that much. I, don't, I mean, that's a former player talking. I don't know. I, that's, that is what Pac. I mean, Pac McAfee is probably. Yeah, but he he exaggerates some. I listen to him too. He's funny as shit. He exaggerates sometimes though. I don't think Dak's gonna get that much from Boyd to London. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't. I didn't. No, know. but it's. I mean, it's a real thing. They do take out insurance. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Jones is fucking hyped though. I'm not. 
Oh, that's Stephen Jones was on. I seen him today saying, it was just, oh, we have 100% uh, confidence that Dak will return to what he was. Yeah, he might, but you're not going to fucking pay him. <laughs> Don't no. fucking sit there and act like you are. Yeah, I guarantee Jerry Jones. But as a friend, do you do you believe in the franchise tax? Should it be fucking? Drew, I'll let you go first. Should that be should that be allowed? Like I don't even think it should be allowed. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, it's tough because if you can't reach a contract, it's, it's a good thing to put a franchise tag on someone. But I don't know. There should be like an insurance part that like if you get hurt, you got to resign. I don't know. I see what you're saying. Uh, no, I see what you're saying. Like, so if you get hurt on the franchise tag, the team has to resign you. Yeah. Yeah. Or if it's some kind of catastrophic injury where you can't return, there has to be some kind of like yeah. exclusive yeah. buyout. You know what I mean? Yeah, like some sort of like sort of some sort of like insurance back. policy yeah. on it somehow. Yeah. Brady, what do you think? Franchise tag, like it or not? No, I, I think it's fucking I shitty. Fucking hate. I mean. I like all the players are saying they got it. They fucked up on this last CBA. Now they got to wait another ten years to fucking change it. But that's what they're all saying that 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 they're not playing unless the franchise tag goes away or it changes in some way that benefits them more. Like same shit happened to Earl Thomas. What was that last year? The year before, he was on yeah. his franchise tag and broke his fucking leg. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, he was fucking driving yeah, off the yeah, car. Yeah, that's what I mean. That was funny. I wasn't even mad at him. No, that was fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah. I mean, he lost a lot of money because of that. Baltimore got off cheap for what he was in line to make that year. Yeah. Yeah, for a guy his skill level, you would have had to you'd have to pay him top dollar. Like uh-huh. he, he would have got fucking, uh, fucking Jamal Adams fucking oh, yeah. money and shit like that. Yeah, that was franchise tax is fucking bullshit, dude. I fucking hate it. I hate when and I, I that's why I wasn't even mad. Oh, I know a lot of Steeler fans. Was, oh, fucking Le'Veon, he's all about himself. Now, yeah, he should be. That's his fucking livelihood. Yeah, you know, Le'Veon, he was for the team too. Like he, he, he supported his guys and he liked his guys, but he's got to look out for himself. He's, he's still, he still talks to all those players. Yeah. Him and him and James Conner are still like best you friends. You got to look out for yourself. Yeah. These players got to look top, out. For on on top of that, Steelers fans want him back now. <laughs> They're saying about yeah, the Jets. The Jets are looking to trade for him. I seen that. Yeah, like does he? Do you think he has anything left? I don't, I don't know. He was playing fucking the Jets. That's true. And, Hard to yeah. say. But is, is there a bigger wasteland than New York? <laughs> either one, honestly. Like, either one up there. You know what, though? Because he played himself, though. Because remember whenever he was, like, holding out with us and there's some Jets fan? Remember that fucking tweet? Someone said to come run with the Jets. Oh, yeah. And he said it's going to take a hell of a lot more money than that. Than uh-huh. to run with the Jets. And then he ended up going to the fucking Jets. For less money. For less, less money. for less money than he would have made in Pittsburgh. I don't know. Barring the right offer, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't give up much for him. Well, they're asking – the rumor is they're asking a first-rounder, which they're not going to get. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to get. No they're gonna not going to get that. Would you – if I, if they came out – they even got a second-rounder for him, truthfully. If they came out and said – I wouldn't give him a second-rounder. I mean, no offense no, to if, if the Jets called and said, Benny Snell for Le'Veon. Yeah. They wouldn't even use Benny Snell. <laughs> we should, but we don't. Yeah, yeah probably would too. What if they came out and said, Connor, straight up, Connor for Lev? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How old is Le'Veon? He's, I don't think he's thir- No, he's not 30. He's a lot older than Connor, that's for sure. Really, 28, maybe? I want to say 28. I think he's 28. Wait, Lev, Lev's 28. 28. James, James Conner is 25 max. 25. 25. 25. Yeah, so three, years three, years, three years of wear and tear in the NFL. Yeah. Positions is actually and we, more yeah, and, of course, and, and we used Le'Veon a lot. Yeah, we, are, we used oh, the fuck out of Le'Veon. <laughs> he ran a lot. Um, he caught the ball. I, I, it depends, though. Like if, you, if you told me James Conner will play the next two seasons being completely – damn near completely healthy, like barring every running back oh, that's well, nicked up. But I'm saying, like, does it miss anything, like, anything more than a game or two a season for the next two years? I'm taking James Conner right now. A couple years yeah. ago, it wouldn't even be a question. But I don't know. Le'Veon Bell's been getting fucking hurt a lot, too. I, again, is it because he's running behind guys, like, <laughs> that we could go play offensive line and do the same thing? I don't know. That shit is offensive line. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, I got this. I thought about this. I mean, since we're talking about running backs, I want to segue into this. Is I want – What's your 
the top three running backs, and not that I don't want to hear no Jim Brown of who's your favorite running back, and don't even have to be who who was the best. Who's your favorite three running backs to watch play? Me, uh, you got to see that I got to see. Uh, start at three. Good. So it's start, oh, starting at three. Uh, Le'Veon Bell in Pittsburgh, fun to watch, exciting. Uh, number two. I know number one. I'll, I'll skip to number one. Number one was AP. AP was fun to watch. Number two. I don't know. Willie Parker was fun to watch. I know it's not like I said two Steelers, but I don't. Ready? Matt Forte. Oh. Matt Forte. Oh, that's I, I like okay. this. This list is garbo. All right. <laughs> I'm going. Number. I'll go one to three. Number one, obviously, the boss Bettis. That was the fucking watching boss. Oh yeah. Run people over. Why didn't get to really, really yeah, boss. I didn't really get to watch boss. Not his head. Um, number two for me is going to be LaDainian Tomlinson. He was fucking oh, fun as fuck to watch, too. He dominated for the Chargers. And number three, I don't know if this counts because he was technically a fullback, but Mike Allstott was a fucking animal in the football field. If I can't use him, I'll use Priest Holmes. Okay, yeah, because I'll say uh, you can use him. He's a running back. He, I mean, he, ran, he was ball. damn near a running back. He was listed as a fullback, but he yeah. was a running back. Mike Allstott was a fucking bowling ball, dude. That motherfucker. Oh, I got, a new, I got a new number two. Jamal Charles. Candace said he was fun to watch. Chris Henry I, was good, too. Titans running back. But see, I mean, my, my age of running backs were like. Oh, okay. Chris Henry's so fun. <laughs> my age. Fun. Chris Henry's fun to watch. No, my Chris Henry's my, the receiver from the Bengals that died, right? Oh, wait, no. Uh, who's the Henry I'm thinking? Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Henry. Yeah. See, my age of running back, there wasn't really any, like – Yeah, you you grew up in the passing era. Yeah, I grew up in the passing era. Uh, I'll give you – my top three, I'll go three to one. Three, Jerome Bettis, fucking animal. Just <laughs> I just love watching people fucking bounce off of him. Was your favorite run of his when he ran over Erlacher? No, my favorite run of his when he ran over oh, that was... Johnstown and <laughs> Martrell Hawkins. He, he, just, he, he, he didn't even break stride. He was just – don't. <laughs> he didn't even break stride. That was the best. And my second one of his, I don't even know if you guys even fucking know this guy, but if you, you had to have Earl fucking Campbell, dude. Earl Campbell, yeah. Earl Campbell Earl. was just a fucking – he was Jerome Bettis, but a little bit smaller. Like, he he didn't even try to run around you. Like, he just put his head down and ran right fucking through you. Teams would rip his – like, I remember when I was a kid, like, every kid – and, you know, we, we had Franco in Pittsburgh, and Franco was great to watch too, but – when we were playing backyard football, we'd always pretend we were fucking Earl Campbell trying to run people over. Mm-hmm. Like, Earl Campbell was the shit to watch. If you like that kind of running style. And first, obviously, I had to go Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders was just the greatest I ever fucking seen. I had to hear about Jim Brown, but I didn't watch Jim Brown. But I couldn't imagine Jim Brown was better than Barry Sanders. Yeah, see, my age of running back, I mean, I grew up in the, yeah, pass- up in the, I grew up in the passing area, so I didn't really get to see too many. I mean, AP was a – like he was a workhorse. He was kind of a throwback, yeah. Yeah, he was like a throwback running back. Other than that, I mean, not really. Brady kind of grew up in the. the he came in at the tail end of the fucking running back mm-hmm. era, so you got to see some good ones. Yeah, you didn't get to see Jerome in his heyday. No, I saw Jerome in his last few years in Pittsburgh. Yeah, Jerome, you got it. You would love fucking. If you liked right. Jerome, you would have loved Earl Campbell. And he didn't play that long because <laughs> his body <laughs> didn't fucking hold up. But he played. He played like fucking 150 miles an hour, man. He played balls to the fucking wall. Loved Earl Campbell. Barry Sanders was just the greatest. I mean, I haven't got a whole lot to talk about here. Um, well, we'll get away from football. We got three left. Three weeks. Three weeks left to the election. And I want to say this, and I forgot. I meant to say this in my open fucking monologue, and I can speak for all of Dude Ranch podcast. Wayne Langenholk. Is that his fucking name? Langerholk. Langerholk or whatever. We'll not get a fucking vote from the Dude Ranch podcast. No, I can assure you that he just literally just said on the news he will vote and is not for legalizing marijuana. So he will not get a vote from the Dude Ranch Langerholt. podcast. Brady, remember that if you go to the polls, Langerholt, Republican, State Senate. He's like uh, uh, the State Senator. What's his name? 
Yeah, yeah. he's like the state off. senator from the from the office. I already, I already knew that he was. He didn't have oh, okay. my vote. He didn't have my vote prior to that. But either. Uh, either oh that, boy, he's running against. I don't even remember his name. Yeah. That dude's like he's all for it. Unless he was like, it'll help tourism, distribution, <laughs> jobs. It's he true was, though. He got a smile on his face when he was talking about it. I mean, he's right. It'll yeah, be right. so good for John Zahn's economy. It'll be good for Pennsylvania's economy. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Fuck John Zahn's economy. <laughs> gambling and marijuana would be so great. Well, that's gambling's already legal. That's Pennsylvania. why I like that's That's my favorite part of the 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 Libertarian Party. They're pro people. Remember Spike Cohen said? <laughs> I, 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 I agree with that in the sense of like, what the fuck? Like, do we have a lot of dumbass shit that we can't do? Like, I mean, there's certain things I understand, like murdering people and shit, okay, but like gambling, why the fuck did it take so long to be able to gamble and shit? Why are you right. allowed to smoke weed? You can you can drink alcohol, but you can't smoke weed. You can also go to war and die, but you can't come home and smoke a joint unless you're in like, what, seven or eight states? Like, it's fucking stupid. Prostitution, why the fuck is that illegal? People have sex every fucking day. If someone wants yeah. to pay for it, who the fuck gives a shit? Thank you. Like, everyone thinks I'm a fucking idiot for saying it. Yeah. I, I fucking said that. I've always been saying that. I said, if a woman wants to do that, as long as it's as long as long it's regulated. Like, yeah. you can't have John pimps out there on the no. fucking corner. No, no. Tell them. <laughs> I mean, if it was like a, like a strip club, a strip club, but to the point where you could just pretty much you're banging. Like that, like a Nevada, like Nevada brothel or something. Yeah, yeah. like an old time Game of Thrones type brothel. You go in, you flip a quarter, you take your bra in the back, you know what you <laughs> But, gambling was always my fucking thing. Like, wh- what? Who the fuck? <laughs> I know, right? You tell me what I can and can't yeah, do with my fucking money. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I never understood. Yeah. I, I think I think gambling was more like people that didn't like gambling just didn't want gambling. I don't think it was just that, like they cared about us gambling. I think it was more like they just because like there's often times where I watch sports and I'm like, this motherfucker got action. Like he's cooking something here. I don't know. I, I just. I don't know. You want well, to, especially, oh. especially college coaches. Like, you don't think that like these big alumni guys gamble or they have something wagered on a game? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm a conspiracy theorist a little bit, but I'm just saying. Like, you watch some of the, some of these decisions some of these college coaches make, or how fucking like Clemson the other day when they were playing Miami, they were right there in the spread. It was fucking less than a minute left, and they're up by what twenty five points. They needed another field goal. They're fucking running no huddle with less than a minute left. And Miami has no timeouts. They're running no huddle to try and score. They got stopped at the one yard line. There was like 10 seconds left. They ran up and spiked it so they can get another play in. What the fuck are you doing that for? Huh? 25 points with 10 seconds left. I partially think a lot of things why gambling wasn't legalized because I think organized crime had a lot of fucking juice with fucking politicians. Yeah. Yeah. Organized crime didn't want to legalize gambling because that just nullifies them. Really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that was their bread and butter, legalized or gambling, mm-hmm. book and fucking action. Were you, was you about to say something? I was about to say something. Do you like? I know this is gonna sound fucking stupid, but do you think sports are like fucking fixed? Because we were up last, we were, I was up at Brady's last night. We were watching this fucking baseball game. They flash up on the bottom of the screen. It was the Braves Dodgers game. Flash up on the bottom of the screen. Braves, 23 consecutive scoreless innings. <laughs> Shit you not. Next pitch. Boom. Next pitch. Home Gone. Run. Next Crushes pitch. it. Not, not even like just the, just the most meatball curveball you could yeah. have Yeah, like it wasn't even like. Yeah, like it's boom. 0-2 and he's fucking just a boop, meatball comes yeah. in. Literally boom. 12 to 6 right down the fucking plate. Like textbook home run. Like that shit. Or like how many. that same fucking asshole that's on the TV like. He's made 25 straight field, field goals. goals. Yeah, that's right. sure. I'm like, fuck you, motherfucker. Uh-huh. That's what well, I'm saying, at, man. Drew, remember last night in the, char- in, the, in the Chargers game? They flashed it up for that fucking kicker right before that kick. He's two of two in game-tying or game-winning field goals in yeah. his career. Bang, rings oh, it off bang. the fucking phone. Like, that's what, what I'm like, saying, what, man. It's just Shit like so that makes me – it like, looks so fake. To answer Drew's question, me personally, like – yeah, I've thought about that, but I can't. I can't believe it because if I did, then I just wouldn't watch sports. Like it just yeah. wouldn't be enjoyable. Yeah, it'd, be like w, it'd be like WWE. I like to call it a jinx. <laughs> it's yeah, it'd be like jinx. WWE when you found out WWE was fixed. You were like, but there's merit behind what you say. I mean, it's hundred percent. Like, like how? Like that shit happens all the time. Like he said in field goals, like that'll pop up. Like he's ten. He's made his last ten field goals within fifteen yards. Doink. <laughs> 
you know, Dorian, we always say that when they say that about Steelers kickers. I like, hate, I hate, hate when, goals, like, Fuck I hate asshole. when they say that about Boswell. <laughs> well, Boswell from 35 to 45 yards has made his last 15, so you know this is money. <laughs> ride, ride. Oh, <laughs> I, thanks, I buddy. Think, I don't think, I don't think it's necessarily players that are involved in gambling. A, that's too big of a brotherhood to keep quiet. Someone would leak that in, in what, 100 years of sports. Someone would have leaked that by now. And in, in football and hockey and in these contact sports, motherfuckers get – they get hurt, hurt. Like, they, dudes get paralyzed in football. I don't think you would <laughs> sign up knowing, like, oh, this shit's fixed. You know, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to – That's not true. WWE, WWE people have been paralyzed before, and they know that shit's fixed. Yeah. But very but fucking Nick Foley weird. went through fucking – Yeah. Nick Foley went through fucking – Excel, like the hell in the Yeah, cell he fell off like 50 feet from a cell to a table. I think fucking triple H. I know, like, quad. I'm telling you, referees, though, referees are the ones you got to watch. Oh, they're the crooked. Referees are, are fucking horrible. crooked. Like, I don't like, care what anyone – I know referees especially, are crooked. Especially football and basketball. Them are the two baseball umps. Uh, other than the strikes in, you can't do too much. And But football and basketball refs, like, they're the only two sports that can literally just like dominate a game, and you oh, see yeah. it like football. Like so there's times where you can tell like if a team's up 17 points or something, you're like, they're not gonna blow them out. Next drive, ref come out, give them fucking three personal fouls. Next thing you know, they got the ball at the goal line. Fucking next play, holding on the offense. Okay, now <laughs> they get the ball back. Like it, it's fucking football's the worst to watch. You know, oh, football. And I don't know, NBA's yeah. fucking bad. I hold my breath every time when I'm watching a Steelers game and the uh, opposing quarterback throws the ball down the fucking field. I just I hold my breath and I'm just like anything. Even when you're you, you guys know you watch yeah. games with me. I'm like you throw that fucking flag. I'm getting in my fucking truck and I'm driving down to Pittsburgh. And I'm a fucking kid yeah, you, and it's ridiculous. Like officials should not have that kind of fucking like yeah. ability to control a game like that. Oh, uh, PI calls. It. PI calls are they're ridiculous. Horrible. Every every every, every yeah, deep ball, different. every deep ball, you're like. Is it coming? Wait, is it coming? You back? just you look. Have you to don't even celebrate. Yeah, yeah you can't even yeah, celebrate you don't on celebrate. a nice play because you got to look like, oh, fuck. Or, <laughs> yeah. or, the, yeah. Chase, or the Chase then, Claypool. Fifth touchdown Claypool should have had. They fucking call off on a fucking – probably one of the worst P.I. calls since oh, like, yeah, that, Saints Rams game. He, 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 he like literally that. swims over him, doesn't even yeah. make contact, catches the ball. They say he pushed off. I mean, come on. But then the worst part of it, last year they implement that role – and dumbass fucking boomer Al Riveron never reversed one of them because he's a fucking boomer. Why would you not have an ex player or someone who knows the game, not a fucking old 70 year old referee who you know isn't for replays in general, let alone one that's going to shit on refs? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think that was the whole reason they didn't overturn most of them because they didn't want to look bad. They didn't return. They didn't oh, yeah, that's them. what I mean. You got referees, ex-referees or referees in charge of them fucking things. They're going to have their fucking guys back. They're yeah. never going to want to make them look fucking stupid, which they do on their own. Like that one like that one last year, like that one last year in New Orleans on Pittsburgh. Joe Hayes was going for the ball, taps his elbow like that. That was fucking ridiculous. I, I, and I like, like we, were, cause we were talking about how we hold our breath and we're like, I'm too fucked to throw it. Uh-huh. Too fucked to throw it. And then they don't throw it for a while and you think you're safe and you're like, nice, good play. And then, 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 then here it comes. Yeah. You're like, you fucking cock something. And the worst part is, fuck. like, sometimes they won't throw it. Then the receiver will get up and go like this. And then they're like, oh, shit, maybe there was one. <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> there was one. Let me know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. He, must have been. He threw yeah, he threw his hands up. There must have been one. The one that gets me, too, is, like, holding. That's the biggest – that's just such a like. Uh, do we want to call holding here or not? Like, because you could call holding almost every play. Every man. play, yeah. You mean on like, the offensive line? Yeah. yeah. My thing is, unless it's blatant, but how many times do we see like uh, T.J. Watt or someone like getting held? Here's my thing: you could call it on every play if you're holding the guy to where he's a he's he's got a path to the quarterback, and you don't call that. What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. You you know, like if it's honestly, just in the trenches and you're here, you're 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 battling with them up front like this. Okay, I can live with that. But if a motherfucker smokes a fucking offensive lineman, he's got a hand on his fucking jersey. Uh-huh. Like you gotta call that every fucking time. Every probably every highlight clip I've ever watched of Aaron Donald, he's being held. So oh, I mean, yeah, take it for what it's worth. But I'm just saying, he gets held probably every play. 
Yeah, right. But if it's inside work, you know what I mean? Th- yeah, I can I live with that. I, yeah, but if he good. beats I, I you can. and you're holding him, yeah. that's got to be cold. Yeah, like if I was on the offense, like if I was on the defensive line, big Riz on the offensive line, he'd be holding me all the time because he knows I'm fucking swimming right past him. I'm fucking yeah, boom, yeah, boom, right past him. Yeah, okay. Drum St. John's down tonight. What do you guys think of that? Well, he's, he's there right now. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, how many how many fucking cases of COVID are gonna have from that? Because they showed, because they were talking on uh, what the fucking what's it, WJC, and they were like, well masks are masks are being given out, but there's no rules saying you have to wear it, and they pan around to the crowd, no mask, no mask, no mask, no mask. I was honestly surprised though, because like I seen like you, there was a lot of people without masks, like when they were showing on the news. But there was a lot of people with masks, yeah. more than I've seen it. Yeah. They had that Trump rally in Florida. I don't think anyone had any fucking masks. <laughs> I didn't see a mask except for the news people that was there. I didn't see a fucking mask on anybody. You think John? You think you think we have like a spike in cases? Maybe. If I get that shit, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I know because I, it's, I know it's gonna be from some Trump pansy. <laughs> Trump pansy. Reds. Three weeks to election. Who, who you guys think who, who's gonna pull it off? Jorgensen. We'll Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Listen, I'll me and Dow me and Dow were talking about this at dinner. If if they win, somehow the miraculously Jorgensen wins. Oh, you know they're gonna ignore us. Yeah, they better not fucking ignore us. We're going to CNN with the clip saying that we could go to the White <laughs> I'm House. Sending that to everybody. Uh huh. <laughs> we're gonna come out as the libertarians are fucking frauds. So Spike, Joe, any of those people you guys are watching us still, we're fucking. We remember. This Bush light can't got a better chance of winning the fucking charges. <laughs> no offense, but I mean, they, they didn't pump no money. How many votes do you think? Thing. How do you think you votes are going to get from like, I don't know, we'll say like Kobe for a reason. Remember when Harambe died on last year's election? He yeah. got like 8% of the vote. Harambe? Yeah, you don't remember that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Harambe oh, yeah, got like got 8 per, He got like 8% of the vote. Like 8% of the country that went out and voted think, voted Harambe. I, I, I think another one, Joe Exotic's probably going to get a lot of. Oh, uh, he, he, he might, he might, he might get a little vote. I think Kobe. Like, if you do that, that vote should just be thrown away, right. and you should yeah. probably lose your fucking voting registration. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I agree, but I'm just saying because you're you just have not a Rambe, a dead fucking ape. <laughs> <laughs> your vote, you should not be allowed to vote again if you do that. My question is, I thought it was fucking it's funny. I thought it was funny. My question is, why waste your time? Why waste your time if you're if you're not even gonna vote for a kid? What, that, Especially in some of these places where in some of these cities, like you got they they stand in line for four hours to vote. And you're gonna go in there and stand for four hours to right, vote down no, right. Rambe? Idiot. <laughs> 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 I'm fucking up. I'm right in Rambe. I'm right in Rambe. I'm right in it. I'm right in here for eight hours. <laughs> He's getting wrote in. I wonder, I wonder if, they, if they have the percentage broken down of how many people actually write in their name. Or how many people go there and write in their own name. <laughs> I think those people should be called out. <laughs> like, post their fucking social media picture. This guy voted for Harambe. Like, call him out. I would, they probably, no, probably like that. Honestly, <laughs> like, if I'm being honest with no, you. If you did that, more people would probably do it so they can get the fucking clout. Yeah, exactly. no, not, even, not even for that reason. Like, like being honest, if I was if I was able to vote last year, or not last year, I keep saying, last election, I probably would have voted in Harambe. Not even yeah, you, you seem I like been, the type of dude that would vote for Harambe. <laughs> I would have voted for Harambe. 100%. Joe I exotic. think Joe I think, Exotic's uh, going to get us some votes. To answer my part of that question, though, I think Biden wins on the sole fact that me and Grizzly were talking about it. When have you ever seen an opposing party's wife come out and speak about their own party? Like uh, John McCain's wife John came McCain's out wife and did. endorsed Joe Biden. Like that's that's a lifelong Republican. It's <laughs> like unheard of. I've never seen it. Endorsing a Democrat, like I mean, that's how you know it's bad for old Donnie boy. But I don't know. McCain and his wife, lifelong Republicans. She's on fucking commercials doing fucking. I think he he has so many Trump pansies that it'll be close though. I don't think so. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be close because of the electoral college. Huh? Here's the one thing we 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 brought out we brought up last year, like last election. We were talking about this at work today. He got out so many people to vote last time that just couldn't fucking stand Hillary and, yeah. and didn't want a woman being the president. Like, I think those votes he's going to lose this year. I think he's going to lose a good portion of those fucking votes. Those people just vote. And I think, and I think his last election, he had that big whole shtick, make America great again. I think it was pop, like it was popular. You know what I mean? 
But yeah. people, people can't be like, of, yeah, he got a lot of people that, a lot of people that were just like, oh, that's pretty funny. Like that's cool. I'll vote for that. Yeah. Now, like people actually see like what he's about. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't. I can't vote. For yeah, that. and I think he got but, the people who were like, who were like, uh, how about I don't tweet? know. We didn't even mention his tweet. Oh, California has gone mad. Vote Trump. No, or no, what? no. He said Which California he a thousand times he said, a day. I don't even know how he has time to run the country. He said California is going to hell. Vote Trump. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. He literally tweeted that. I looked to see if it was his page and everything, and it was his page. Like he tweeted that. I'm gonna guess personally, probably at like three in the morning when he was eating cheese. <laughs> he was just like, fuck. <laughs> He's like, he's, fuck California. He's, you he, think that's why he's orange? He's eating those Cheetos and just like rubbing them on his fucking face. He's just, he's, just, he's just sitting in bed. He's like, fuck. What am I going to tweet right now? Hey, no, he's just telling you. He just sits there like a little kid and just scrolls on Twitter. And then he just like <laughs> sees something negative about him. Like, <laughs> well, did you guys see what I posted on Facebook today? about like Because I seen him tweet about the NBA viewership. Like, why is he even tweeting about that? Like, I don't even understand. <laughs> I don't like, know he's why. In the middle he's, of a, he's in the middle of a fucking presidential election. <laughs> one that I think he's going to lose. But he's out there tweeting about the NBA. And you know why? Here's my here's one of the reasons why I think so. Because the NBA is like driving the vote. To oh, go yeah. vote hard, like if you like, we all watched a lot of NBA playoff mm-hmm. games, and every single game yeah. you watched, this all the commercials, half the commercials were go vote, right. vote, vote. The players are wearing t-shirts that were say vote, and he knows that those players, that those people that are watching, most of the people watching those games ain't gonna be voting. Yeah. No. no, Tyler Hero is gonna vote for him. Yeah, no, he's not. No, he's gonna say he's <laughs> gonna say he's voting for Biden, but he's gonna go in there, Trump. Tyler Hero's a fucking douchebag. Tyler Hero's probably going to fucking write in Dr. Dre or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's going to write in any black man. I love him. Um. Oh, but I want to say, let me say this, Brady, hold on. And here's another reason, like, like, man, is the Democratic Party or whoever's behind them pumping a lot of money into the Joe Biden campaign. I'm watching Hulu the other day. I'm sort of, well, everyone tell me about the shield. So I'm like, I'm going to try to get the shield. Every other CCH pounder. CCH pounder. <laughs> you want me to give a CCH pounder? <laughs> <laughs> every, almost every fucking commercial was a Joe Biden commercial. Like Hulu's big. You're pumping money. YouTube, the they got a lot on YouTube too. Huh? You, they they got a lot on YouTube. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like a lot of YouTube videos I watch. Netflix, they don't got ads. Cause I'm cheap. I don't pay for the ad free Hulu, so I gotta watch the ads. <laughs> and like every third one is a fucking Joe Biden. I haven't seen a Trump commercial one. Yeah. And Hulu's big. You're reaching out to a lot of fucking people. Right yeah. Now. I think he's gonna lose. I think the writing's on the fucking wall. How many? I don't. I don't. I don't know much about politics, but how many people running for a second term lose? It's almost unheard of. Oh really? I think George Senior was the last one. Yeah, George Sen- George Bush Senior was the last one. He's the only one in my lifetime that the incumbent that lost. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's been every president for us except for senior has done it, right? Because didn't Clinton do it too? Clinton did two times, right? Yeah, he did two terms. I know yeah. Barack did Bush Jr. Barack and W did. Barack did. W yeah. did. Ronald Reagan did. Oh, uh, Jimmy Carter did. But that was way before you guys. Were. I was just a little. Did bit. he run there? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. He lost the. He lost the Reagan. Speaking of Robert, oh, good. I was just gonna say, what's the biggest? Has there ever been like a massive landslide to where like you didn't even have to watch? Like you knew, okay, this fucker won already. Like it was so, like he blew like the other guy out. Obama, Obama McCain was a pretty big one, wasn't it? I was yeah, gonna say, was that the biggest one? Because I know he won by like, oh, didn't he win like seventy five percent or something? Like something crazy. It was something wild. I thought. I know he gave his. I was still awake when he gave his fucking his speech, his his acceptance speech. And that's usually that's usually pretty late when they do that. I was I was I was already I was still awake. I was pretty early. Yeah. But I remember he gave it in some some park in Chicago or something. Speaking of Trump, did you see that fucking video he came out saying about how the the doctor said that they've never seen a body defeat COVID like his body? And that he is, he got his DNA tested and it wasn't DNA, it was USA. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I can't wait till fucking January. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. He's gonna he's not leaving there without a fucking fight. I don't like, I he, don't think we're gonna have to wait till January. I think if he loses in November, he's just gonna be on a war path 
from November 4th till fucking January 1st of just, he's going to be like, they almost, it might be the point where they just, they just kick him out. Because like, <laughs> like, I feel like he's just going to be, like, he's going to be off the chains. Like, we're going to see like live feed of him and fucking Pence out there, like, boarding up fucking walls on the White House and shit. I'm going to fucking leave it there. <laughs> like, he's going to try and do a bunch of reckless shit before he leaves. Like, Probably uh, leaving upper. He's probably definitely gonna leave an upper deck. Oh yeah, he's leaving an upper deck. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's, though, I would too. Like fuck, he's leaving, not? he's leaving old Sleepy Joe an upper decker for Joe. <laughs> oh yeah. You bitch is fat ass climbing up on the. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I got a mental image of that's fucking hilarious. He'd probably just fucking shit in his diaper and take his diaper off. And <laughs> just take the diaper off. And just dump it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, boys. I ain't really got nothing else. Man. I just yeah, got one quick thing to say. One yeah. just quick hypothetical. You know, it's not really hypothetical, but I was telling you guys before we started about the the Boeing uh, plane incident thing. My only thing that is okay. So anyone who doesn't know, Boeing released like the I think it was the Boeing seven thirty seven Air Max or some. It was like one of their new models. And they've already had two planes crash where everyone on board died. If you were going to fly. And you looked out their thing and you see a Boeing 737 Air Max. Are you getting on it? Or are you no. saying, fuck this, I'll take my chances and get a rescheduled flight? Yes, I'm not. Flying and on you it. knew oh. about this. Like, you knew about it prior. No, I'm not getting on there. No. I don't like flying that much anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of flights anyway. I'm not now. You're not, you're not going to press your life? Fuck, fuck no. Okay, that was my hypothetical. <laughs> I'm not even getting on it. I'm like, I'm seeing that I'm like mm, turn around. Or or what would you do if as you're taking off, someone just beside you is like, Man, this is a sketchy flight and you're like, Why? He goes, Oh, you didn't hear this model of plane we're flying on. They've already lost two aircrafts in like the first month they've been out. I'd stand up I'd stand up and be like, Bob! Bob! <laughs> just start screaming Bob. They'd be like, So you can't Bob They 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 fucking ask me be like well, the guy next to me said that two of these plane crashes already fucking crashed. So I was, I had to get off there. Like, so I don't care. Put me on the fucking no fly list. Put me on the terrorist <laughs> list. I don't give a fuck. Get me off this fucking plane. You might get shot by the fucking air marshal. Yeah, you might. All right, uh, you got anything else? No. No? Yeah. Go, I'll go to Universal Science. All right, well, Buffalo tonight. My, they're going to win by three or more. Stephon Diggs is going to catch zero touchdowns so I can win in fantasy. Go back to first place. t 69. Subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe to the official Dude Ranch page. Uh, check out all the social medias. Those are all going to be down here in the description. Just click this little arrow over there somewhere. It'll pull up the description. Do that. Brady? I agree with Drew. Go Bills tonight. Circle the wagons. Uh, let's hope Stephon Diggs in that process does have a bad night so Daniel Sun can lose. Um, again, check us out next week. We got world renowned Dr. Dr. Chad Eisenhuth coming on of the Moxham Institute of Medicine. It's going to be a good one. I'm telling you, this guy's yeah. real knowledgeable, world renowned. He's, he's doing some cutting edge things. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> Down there in Moxham Medicine. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it. All right. All right. Sign us off. The Grizzly. All right, that's it. All right. I'm big Grizzly. Um, like Drew said, follow the follow the uh, social media pages. Uh, send send some thoughts and prayers to the Danny Hammer out there in Okinawa. You don't catch no STDs from some bad Japanese pussy. Moth. <laughs> Japanese girls have moth. And Brady Brady said it again. Like I, I want to harp on it. Tune in next week, Dr. Chad Eisenhuth, <laughs> Moxham Institute of Medicine. It's gonna be fucking dope. Probably a lab coat. I, I hope he comes on with one of those big fucking like lights on his fucking head. That would be fucking great. Yeah. We'll, we'll get in talk to him and see what we can do. Yeah, see what he can do. Make sure you guys tune in and share this around so everyone can tune in. Because he's going to have some dynamite COVID oh, impact. Dynamite COVID advice. Yeah. Probably a vaccine or some Yeah, he might develop a vaccine bad. live on this podcast. He might even get some shots out to people while we're on the Yeah. He might. Might happen. All, All right. right. Tune in next week. All right. Next week. Later. See you later, guys.